Now here's a Schatz uh, 8 day cuckoo clock. Um, you can tell it's a Schatz A because it has Schatz and B the back the movement the plate actually looks like a bird here's the head and here's the tail so I'm going to be taking this apart and cleaning it and go from there first thing we're going to do is remove the hands of course I got my container for all my parts so I'm going to go ahead and remove the hands Then, uh, as always, I'm going to remove the bird from the door. And then uh, I have to take the chains out. There's only one chain on here, but I need to take the chain out. Grab and hold the link, twist in the clip. I should be able to uh, separate the link. There's the clip, and I can pull the. Uh, I would have been able to pull the uh, chain out, but the link got stuck. So now I'm going to take the uh, bellows out. And you do that simply by removing the screw and then there's also a nail so you can take your screwdriver and pry up on the bellow and that will release the bellow and you want to make sure you know which one uh, goes where in this case the high note lever is on the top of the movement so uh, luckily the bellows still work and I need to get a rubber band to uh, put around this wire I like keeping the uh, the wires with the bellows as they come off the clock so I take a rubber band and wrap around that way this wire is not going to come off of this bellow so now I have to take the other bellow out This bellow has got the uh, the bird lift wire on it, and it is on the right side of the clock. And this bellow, the um, the hinge is broken here, but I think I could glue another hinge hinge on here and it should work it's missing the weight also so now i need to uh, remove the screws that are holding the movement in place and it looks like there's only two screws that's holding the movement in place so i'm going to go ahead and do that off camera but now because i had the screws out of the way I should be able to uh, take the movement out and see what's going on here. There's a string that is supposed to fit down in the bottom of the movement to, uh, to catch and release the uh, cuckoo 
in case your cuckoo is off time or something. Now, the Shots Cuckoo Clocks, and I've never worked on these before, they have a different kind of uh, system on there to, uh, to get the uh, cuckoo to come out of the door. This uh, wire here it looks like it allows the cuckoo to come out of the door and there's a weight here which allows the cuckoo to drop back in the door. And I guess if your clock cuckoo is not going back into the door, I'm going to assume that this metal is bent. So I would bend the metal back toward the back of the movement to allow the cuckoo to go back inside the door if your cuckoo is not going back inside the door I don't see any other adjustments on this clock so uh, I'm going to go ahead and release the uh, the pendulum leader wire out of the way And the movement is pretty dirty. Let's see if we have any pivot wear anywhere. We do have pivot wear on, on both this gear and this gear on the strike side. And on the time side, we have it on this gear here, which would be T1, T3. What about on the other side? Some pivot wear on the escape on the escapement wheel, if you can see that. Seeing I never worked on a shots uh, clock before. Uh, cuckoo clock. I might have to be uh, putting a bunch of pivots in. We got pivot wear on this gear here. And by the way, the clock, the, what I like about the Shots clocks, this clock was made in 1950 as identified by the circle here. So there's no guessing of when it was made. So I'm going to take a permanent marker and mark all the pivots that are worn and start taking this thing apart I have my ultrasonic cleaner turned on the rack and snail here needs to come off
little clip allows me to take the rack off Silly camera stand. Little clip allows me to take the minute wheel and pinion off. And the snail should come off. I don't understand why it's not. They're designed to come off after you get the little clip off the minute pinion no I take that back there's another little clip on top here that needs to come off Looks like maybe a piece of wire that goes through a hole on the minute arbor. and get it straightened down it should come out or break off which it did so now I have to take these parts are And I'm discovering real quickly that the shot's movements 
uh, can be a pain in the butt. Because the clips are not that well made. So anyway, I'm going to take the uh, clips off and I'll get back to you.